All right, I believe that's on. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Facebook family, good morning. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, 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 and his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he's good, 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 and his mercy endureth forever. I would have fainted unless I lived to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Oh, won't you magnify the Lord with me? God bless you. Hallelujah. And let us, Mother Williams, exalt his name together. For this poor man cried, and the Lord, he heard me and delivered me out of all of my fears. Hallelujah. I'll say of the Lord, Apostle Garman, I'll say it. He is my refuge. He's my strength. Hallelujah. Sister Michelle, he's a strong tower, and the righteous runneth therein. Brother Abram, and God knows we are safe, safe in his arms. Why? Because we believed. Hallelujah. God is so good this morning. I know most of you possibly have been up. Hallelujah. Most of the night. Hallelujah. Watching these election results, Mother Ruby. Hallelujah. So good. Hallelujah. To see you. Hallelujah. So I'm not going to hold you long because I know you got 20 other things to do. Hallelujah. After watching the results all night and then still, ah, uh, it's a stalemate. Nothing has been settled. So, but we're grateful this morning. Hallelujah. Because it's all in his hands. This and that. It's all in his hands. And we give it all to the Lord. Hallelujah, Cousin Pat. We give it to him. Why? Hallelujah, because he's on the throne. He sits high and he looks low. God got it all in his hands. Did you hear what I said? I said, God got it all. He got it all. Yes, he does in his hands. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to go right before you. Hallelujah. Go with you to the throne of grace that we may receive help in this time of need. Hallelujah. And the Lord had put on my heart, hallelujah, to go back. Now he said, take them back. Hallelujah. To when we first believed. And that's where we are today. Hallelujah. As we're calling for souls to come on into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Come on in the saving station. Because God has great things in store for you. He wants to save your soul. He wants to make you whole. He wants to make you complete. Hallelujah. So that you may inherit eternal life with him. Hallelujah. So that's going to take us to our scripture. We going right through today. We got to get it in as much as we can. Hallelujah. Ah, and that's going to come from St. John 3 verses uh, 15 and 16. Hallelujah. I'll just read that for your hearing this morning. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. How about that this morning? Only believe. Hallelujah. That's what we're praying for this morning. Our focus. Hallelujah. That our families would only believe. Only believe so that they can be saved. God has the plan already worked out. All we have to do is walk therein. Hallelujah. So if we would just only believe. Because all things according to scripture, are possible when we only believe. Hallelujah. I love the Lord and he heard my cry. He pitied my every groan. I'm so glad this morning, Evangelist Harper, that God has been so good to me. I'm so glad this morning that he woke me up. Hallelujah. After a busy day and night, 
Hallelujah. Woke me up with my mind on him, a mind to seek and to serve him. So that's where we are this morning. We want to share this uh, great video, this great gospel, hallelujah, with our family and loved ones so that they can come on in the kingdom. It's time for all of us to gather in the harvest. Hallelujah. And you said, well, Val, I know for certain some people in some countries have not even yet heard of Jesus. Well, and that may be so. And I'm certain I believe it is. However, he's not coming to everybody have had a chance. So we got much work to do. We must roll up our sleeves and get it done. Hallelujah. Because the sooner we can get it done, the sooner he's coming back for us. Hallelujah. As a group, all of us. Hallelujah. The rapture. Hallelujah. But meanwhile, some of us are going one by one, two by two, 20, 30, 40, 70, you know, depending upon what's going on. Hallelujah. So we must be ready, Zion. So we want to uh, continue to be prayerful. Amen. And continue to focus on the prayer this morning that not only us, but our family and loved ones would only believe. This is the way to salvation. We must only believe. Hallelujah. And that's going to take us to our prayer. Hallelujah. So let us go forth at the Lord God have ordained for us because it's high time. It's high time to pray. I'm your host this morning, co-founder, pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry in Gary, Indiana, knowing that, hey, all that we do in word or deed, we need to do it in the name of Jesus because he is the saving name, the name that keeps us if we only, only believe. Let us go forth, Zion. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for being our defense. We thank you, Lord, because you are a giver, hallelujah, of life. And we thank you, Lord, that you have chosen us to be vessels of honor, to share this good news, this great news with our family, our friends, our neighbors, and even to those that are far off. Father, we thank you, Lord, because you've been so good to us. Hallelujah. We must just stop by on this Facebook Live and tell you thank you. Thank you for being, hallelujah, our protector. Thank you for being our defender. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we know that without you, we can do nothing. We thank you, Lord, for giving us breath to breathe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For your angels and camping round about us. Hallelujah. To protect us from seen and unseen danger. Lord, we thank you for being the captain of our souls. Hallelujah. Being our bridge over troubled water. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For all that has been done. Hallelujah. Since we were on this last Facebook live and father, we pray hallelujah that you just continue. Hallelujah. To give us peace as we continue to seek thy face. And Father, we before we ask you for anything, we thank you, Lord, for everything that you've already done. You've done so many things for us, Lord. It will take us from here to eternity to just thank you forever. Hallelujah. The Bible said if I had 10,000 tongues, if I used every one of them to thank you, Lord, I still couldn't thank you for all that you've done for me. For every day, hallelujah, that you've met my needs, every day, Lord, that you've calmed me in the midst of the raging seas, Lord, I just want to thank you. Ah, oh, my God, Lord, I want to thank you this morning because you've been mighty, mighty, mighty good to me. Hallelujah, Lord, you've been so good even to this Facebook family. Hallelujah. When I think about your healing virtue, your healing power, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for raising me up off my bed of affliction, hallelujah. Ah, the devil thought he had me, but God, you said no. For your word, hallelujah, and we hold on to your word, said many are the afflictions of the righteous, oh God, but you would deliver us from everyone. And Lord, we stop by this morning to tell you, thank you. We stop by this morning to tell you that you've been so, so good unto us. 
Hallelujah. Sometimes we think it, we got it back, but all we have to do is turn on the news. Hallelujah. And see so many others that are suffering. Hallelujah. And Lord, we just thank you. We don't have anything to complain about. Hallelujah. But if we would just thank you for what you've already done. Hallelujah. Knowing that that opens the gate, that opens the door for Lord so much more. And Lord, we stop by this morning, hallelujah, with our prayer focus on only believe. Hallelujah. Help us to believe your word. Hallelujah. As we go forth, hallelujah, as witnesses in this dark, perverted society, hallelujah, we pray not only help us to believe your word, oh God, but to draw your people in, hallelujah, this end time harvest. We pray, Lord, that you would just help them to only believe, only believe according to your word. And God, we're grateful this morning, hallelujah, as the scripture has been read in St. John 3, uh, 15 and 16. We just thank you, Lord, hallelujah, Ah, uh, that we know according to your word, hallelujah, that we can have that saving faith, hallelujah, ah, uh, that faith in you, Jesus Christ, hallelujah. For you said in your word that whosoever, hallelujah, that's including everybody. Everybody has this same opportunity. Lord, we thank you this morning for being an equal opportunity employer. Hallelujah. You said in your word that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Lord, help us to only believe. Help our families to only believe. We're praying to you this morning according to your word, Lord. Help our neighbors to only believe. Help this community to only believe. Oh, God, hallelujah. And as we go further out, hallelujah, help everyone to only believe your word. Hallelujah. Ah, and then you said according to John 5, 24, Sister Lucia, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word, listen, Zion, this is the word of God. Mm. <clears throat> he that heareth my word, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me, all right, hath everlasting life. Hallelujah. If we would just believe the word. We must believe the word. This is a foundational truth, but it is truth. Show not truth. Only believe, hallelujah, have everlasting life. And that's what we want, everlasting life with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And it shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Hallelujah. When we only believe. Only believe, hallelujah. I'm so glad, hallelujah, that my uh, mother, my parents took us to Sunday school that we can learn the scriptures so that word can be in our heart, hallelujah. So even as we became young adults, hallelujah, and wandering on our way, hallelujah, that word would just pop up at certain times. Like Val, you know this ain't right. You ain't got no business here whatever. And I be trying to shift it off my shoulders. I remember one time, and Lord, I'm taking a pause break already, but I remember one time, hallelujah, I had got with this group of people and this girl had just came from California. And one of my friends, hallelujah, so-called friends, introduced me to her, hallelujah. And she was about, oh, maybe 20 years older than me. So, you know, she knew the ropes all around. Hallelujah. I was just a young chick. Hallelujah. This girl, hallelujah. I tell you, she was doing so much stuff. I never forget. Hallelujah. You know how when you, you're sweetly saved and then you backslide and hallelujah, you know you green. You don't know nothing about what's really going on out there. And I can remember this girl took me to this house. Hallelujah. She said, Val, girl, I want you to meet my friend. Hallelujah. And I'm young, innocent, naive. I'm like, okay, you know, cool. Hallelujah. And I went in the house, and the house was beautifully decorated and everything. And in the center of a the table, there was a big round bowl. Hallelujah. And I'm thinking to myself, why this guy got a big bowl of sugar in the middle of the table? I just couldn't get it. Hallelujah. And not only 
did I think it was sugar. I just thought it was so strange. Only to find out moments later, that wasn't no sugar, hallelujah. They was getting ready to get down and do some, uh, what y'all call them, lines or whatever. I'm like, Lord, what this girl done brought me into? And oh, Val, you want to try it? See, evil communication corrupts good manner. I said, no, I don't want to try that. I, I really didn't. I, I heard of it, but I didn't know what was going on, you know, in this cocaine world. Um, I mean, a big old, you know, he was a drug dealer. Hallelujah. But I said, Lord, I thank you for protecting me from seen and unseen danger. I couldn't wait to get out of there because all I was thinking, girl, you're going to get in trouble. The police going to come in here raid and you're going to be in this man's house with this woman. But you know, God, he protects us from seeing and unseen danger. See, when our young girls and boys want to get out there and feel, you know, what's really going on and don't know what's going on. I'm telling you, honey, if you don't have God on your side, people will, they will bop you upside the head. Hallelujah. Make fools, silly people out of you. So we thank God, hallelujah, that as he is welcoming us into his kingdom, let us pray. Lord, help us only believe. Our children, help them, Lord, to only believe. Hallelujah. Our family are far off. Help them to only believe. Hallelujah. You ought to help me pray this morning and type in only believe because God has been with you. I know you've been in situations. I know we on Facebook Live and everybody can't testify. Hallelujah. But since I'm the commentator, I just took a little pause break. But now we're going on back to praying the word of God. Hallelujah. So the word is clear as we go forward with this saving space. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible, the Bible declares in uh, John eleven twenty five, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. I am the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall live. Hallelujah. I tell you, it's all in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you would just focus Hallelujah. Your prayer this morning. Hallelujah. For those that don't know the Lord and your pardon of the sins, that honey, all you have to do is only believe. Only believe that he is, hallelujah, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All you have to do is only believe. Hallelujah. This is his scripture. Only believe. Hallelujah. And then uh, John twelve forty six declared, I am come a light into the world, but whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in darkness. Hallelujah. This is for all of our Sunday Christians. Hallelujah. You're a Christian on Sunday. Oh, you got all pictures of Facebook. You in church clapping a can on, but Monday you out. Hallelujah. Doing every damn double thing. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Hallelujah. But yet you're a Christian on Sunday. The devil is a liar. The Bible declares according to John 12, 46, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Those dark, damnable things, hallelujah, we have to release them and let them go. The Bible says, hallelujah, and we're praying according to scripture, hallelujah, to lay aside those sins, hallelujah, those weights that doth so easily beset us and run with patience this race that is set beside us. Hallelujah, you have to make up in your mind I want to be, hallelujah, a God seeker. I want to be a Christian. I want to be Christ-like in everything I do and everything I say. Hallelujah. Then the Bible declares further in John 20, 31, but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. Hallelujah. We already know on here. Hallelujah, Brother David Lee. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. That as we go forth, Jesus Christ, he's the saving name, trustee David. He's the only name. Hallelujah. Can free us from this world of sin and shame. And if we would just believe on him today, as the scriptures have said, out of our belly will flow rivers of the living water. Hallelujah. We won't be dry no more. We'll be living water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're moving right along. Hallelujah. Romans 10, 9 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth. Hallelujah. This is why we ask you to pray. 
the salvation prayer. Hallelujah with us at the end, toward the end of the prayer, because we want you to confess it with your mouth that you believe. The Lord Jesus Christ shall believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. It's a process. So that means thou shall be saved. Thou shalt be saved. Hallelujah. Ah, you got some more work to do to finish the course. Hallelujah. The Bible says I fought a good fight. Hallelujah. I finished my course. See, you got to finish the work. It ain't just repeating the salvation prayer and then you going on doing every damnable thing in the book. The devil is a liar and God is the Messiah and his word is fire. You got to tell the truth, be delivered and live a lifestyle of truth and obedience to the word of God. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God from Zion. Well, the truth is the light. Hallelujah. And the truth will set us free. And Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. And it, it is our prayer that we only believe. Hallelujah. And that you help us. Hallelujah. As we share, share, share this video. Come on, like and share this video. Hallelujah. That our relatives, hallelujah, will know that you must only believe. That's the starting point. Hallelujah. Only believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, my God. And then the Bible is clear, hallelujah, that as we go forth in him, hallelujah, that he has given us promises that if we would just look up, hallelujah, we can live. Hallelujah. Um, Psalms 37, 3 declares, trust in the Lord and do good. Hmm? Do good. That's what you should be doing every day, doing good. Who can I do good for? Huh? Do good, trust in the Lord and do good, as shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. See, you can't feed God's people without him feeding you, honey. Hallelujah. You can't give somebody a rose, hallelujah, without the smell of the petals being on you. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, well, we ain't got that yet. Hallelujah. But then there is unlimited blessings for you according to Mark uh, 23. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. See, that's our prayer this morning. Lord, only believe. Help us to only believe. You know, sometimes you tell folks something and then they say, girl, I don't believe that. Well, that's you, honey, because I believe the full counsel of God. I believe his word. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, because I know it's true. I tried it for myself, as the whole folks say. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. And I found him. Hallelujah. To be a truth maker, a way maker. Hallelujah. He is the son of the living God. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, and then the Bible declares, hallelujah, that he does answer the spirit. Huh? How many trophies have you got on your case? Your showcase that, hey, that's a prayer answer. That's another prayer answer. That's another prayer answer, huh? I got quite a few. Hallelujah. The Bible says, hallelujah, according to Mark eleven twenty four. 24, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, huh? When ye pray, believe. That's why we're on here now. We're praying, Lord, help us to only believe. Believe this word as we're praying this word. Believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Huh? Everything that I say, I believe it. I don't doubt God one iota. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord. I just think about when my mother was really uh, low sick. I think we had just had their um, 40th wedding anniversary. Hallelujah. Lord, another testimony. Y'all help me. I'm trying to get through this. Y'all pray for me. Hallelujah. And the next day, she woke up and couldn't move from her uh, neck down. And uh, granddaddy, I call him granddaddy, but it's my father. You know, I call him granddaddy because all the grandkids call him granddaddy. But my father, he called me and he said, your mama, she can't move. I'm like, what? I'm like, tell that woman to get on up out that bed. She couldn't move. Hallelujah. So, of course, I rushed on over and I'm like, mother, what's going on? She said, Val, I can't move. I, I can't move. And so then I called my other sister, uh, Darlene, who was nursing. 
And uh, she said, well, we must call the ambulance, you know, and see what's going on. So the ambulance came and got her. She was paralyzed from her neck down. And at that time, she was a heavy woman. And the doctor said they couldn't do surgery. And, you know, they gave us the death notice. Just prepare, you know, to uh, say your goodbyes to her. I told that devil, you a liar. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I remember my sister Darlene and Karen, we was at the hospital. And so we go there often. Hallelujah. And, you know, she talked to us and everything and pray and everything. And I'm like, mm -mm. I'm like, mother, you ain't laying here like this, honey. I got too much work for you to do. <laughs> I was being self. I'm like, I got too much work for you to do in the kingdom for you to lay here and die like this. Hallelujah. And I guarantee you, uh, while we were going out to the parking lot one time, my older sister, Darlene, she said, Val, she said, mother been with us a long time. She said, you just have to let her go and let her go in peace, you know, so she could get some rest. So I'm respectful of my elders always because that's the way I were trained. Hallelujah. Ah, and so in her face, you know, I said, well, we just stay prayerful. Honey, I went to my car and I went on back to work. I'm like, the devil is a liar. I got my big Bible out the trunk. First of all, I went and told my boss. I said, honey, she, please give me a few minutes. I, I got to go and take care of this work. Hallelujah. I got to. I went in that uh, Methodist hospital. It was downtown with my great big Bible. And I began to talk to her. I said, mother, the Lord told me to share with you Isaiah 53. I said, I know you, you know, may not feel that well. Hallelujah. I said, but you should live and not die. I said, I just want you to listen to what I'm saying. I'm like, they ready to let you go. Hallelujah. But I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to stay in faith with you. Hallelujah. Because I know you believe God. Hallelujah. Because I remember years ago, she had told me, uh, some woman had uh, told her that she was a great woman of faith or something, you know. So I'm like, honey, come on here. So I read her that entire Isaiah 53, the suffering servant. I read her that whole passage of scripture. And then after that, I said, well, how you feel? She said, about the same. I said, well, honey, you just keep on believing God, honey, because you're getting up out of here. <laughs> sure enough, it might have been a month later. They kept you in the hospital a long time then. You know, it wasn't just having a baby and the next day you're going home. No, uh-uh. You sick, you're going to stay in the hospital. But she was in there for about maybe a month and a half. They couldn't do nothing. Hallelujah. So they sent her home with a hospital bed and it was in the living room and the fireplace was over the hospital bed. So, uh, I would call cause I was still working back then. And I would call every day and say, granddaddy is grandmother up. Is she moving around, running around the house? He like, girl, you know, she ain't up moving, running around the house. I said, well, I'm in great expectation. Hallelujah. So one day it was grandmother had this gray big mirror over the hospital bed where well, it was over the fireplace in which she was centered right in front of it. And it fell down. I mean, just fell. Hallelujah. But do you know not one piece of that glass hit her? I said, Lord, you are awesome, God. You are mighty good, God. Honey, we must only believe. Our prayers only believe. And just to uh, say this quickly, because my time is running. But honey, do you know that woman, one day, she said, the Lord told her, said, get up and sit on the side of the bed. She said she got up, sat on the side of the bed. And he told her, now put your feet on the floor. Now keep in mind, it's a hospital bed. Sometimes they kind of high. Put her feet on the floor. And he told her, I said, walk to the bathroom and use the bathroom. <laughs> she went in there and used the bathroom. And you know, my mother loved to be clean and smelling good. She started running that bath water. My daddy got up and said, woman, what's wrong with you? You supposed to be paralyzed in the bed. I said, honey, God is a miracle worker. From that time forward, she started coming on back this way. And before you know it, honey, she was up. Hallelujah, running down the aisle. And I can remember her saying, yeah, they coming here giving me uh my last right. She said, the devil is a lie. She's like, I know I wouldn't die. <laughs> you know, you can talk big when you don't made it over. <laughs> oh, but I thank God. God is a miracle worker. You hear me? Hallelujah. Our family, we've seen so many miracles. 
Hallelujah. That's why you can't make me doubt him because I know too much about him. God, he'll do just what he said he would do. Hallelujah. And then we're going on. Hallelujah. Ah, I know you want some more of this word and I got much of it for you as we're praying the word of God. Hallelujah. Our Bible is certain mm. and our Bible is clear. Hallelujah. As we continue to declare the word of God. Ah, the Bible have declared unto us as we continue to do his work. Hallelujah. While we're here on earth and he's in heaven. Hallelujah. It says, uh, Jesus saith unto them, if thou only believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Hallelujah. I just read that. But listen, this is key. You must believe. Hallelujah. That's why I say, I don't want people coming around me when I'm sick and afflicted, talking about, Lord, if, if, if it's your will, not. he don't already told you in the word it's his will. Hallelujah. You pray I get up and get out of here because I got work to do. Hallelujah. And then the Bible says, hallelujah, in Luke 17, 6. And the Lord said, if ye had faith as a grain of a mustard seed. I mean, that's small, like, you know, the, the uh, tip of a tack head or a stick pin. Ye might say unto the sycamore tree, be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and it should obey you. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. Only believe. Hallelujah. Just keep believing. We must not stop believing. Hallelujah. Only believe. Ah, the Bible said, according to John, hallelujah, one twelve. but as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believeth has on, has his name. Even to them that believe on him has his name. Hallelujah. When you married, hallelujah, you take on that man's name. Hallelujah. That's declaring, hallelujah, I'm his prime rib. Hallelujah. Some of them ain't got sense enough to believe it and understand it, but I'm his prime rib. Hallelujah. And any sad chick or whatever, she coleslaw. She a sad dear. She ain't worth too much of nothing. Her value is almost zero. Hallelujah. So you have to know who you are. And when you know who you are in Christ Jesus, you can go forward. Hallelujah. Knowing that God is yet on the throne. Hallelujah. And all of God's promises is yes and amen. Hallelujah. And then for eternal life, we declare, hallelujah, John 3, 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the son of man be lifted up. Ah, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I declare unto you today, this Facebook family, hallelujah, that Jesus is his name. And you must believe, only believe, hallelujah. That's our prayer focus this morning, that we only believe, hallelujah. We pray for our family to believe this word, hallelujah, because this is the saving gospel of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. You must believe, hallelujah. Ah, then the Bible says in Romans 1 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. You got to continue to believe. You can't believe just when you said a uh, salvation prayer and then you go on doing your own thing and don't believe nothing else. But to everyone that believeth, continue to believe. To the Jew first and also to the Greek. Hallelujah. This word is settled. This word is true. Hallelujah. And this word is eternal life. Hallelujah to everyone. Hallelujah. You must, you must believe. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to have to skip a little bit here because I see. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm not going to have time to finish all this. Hallelujah. Let's deal a little bit. Hallelujah. As we continue to pray the word of God. Hallelujah. According to the word of God. Hallelujah. That he just continues to bless us and help us to only believe. Lord, help us to only believe. Help us 
to only believe as we share this good news, this great gospel, hallelujah, with our family and to those that are afar off. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, the Bible declares Deuteronomy 7, 8, but because the Lord, hmm, because the Lord loved you, God loves you, hallelujah, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out of a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Hallelujah. This is what we got to realize, Zion. Hallelujah. My precious Shikari, God bless you, love. Hallelujah. We got to realize that God has brought us out of slavery, out of bondage. We're no longer answering to the, the uh, devil. Some of the old folks used to call him old slew foot. We're no longer answering to him because God have delivered us. And he told us in this word to stand fast in the liberty whereof I have made you free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So he does not want us going back to that world of sin and shame. Hallelujah. Ah, my God. Oh, no. He don't want us going back there. Hallelujah. But he wants us going forward. Hallelujah. Only to believe. Only believe. Hallelujah. Our God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Then the Bible declares... And we're praying according to scripture, Jeremiah 3, that's 31, 3. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Hallelujah. I knew, I know the Lord drawed me with his loving kindness. Hallelujah. Because I declare I wasn't ready to come back as a backslider to the Lord. I, I had a few more things I want to finish up out there in the world. Hallelujah. But the Lord that night, and I went to a convention. Hallelujah. The Lord got a hold in my heart. And I had to surrender. I had to surrender unto him. Them mothers got around me and I'm going up for prayer, you know, so that I continue in my sinful way. And they started talking about saying, thank you, Jesus. And I'm like, these women act like I come up here to prayer. I didn't come up here to pray. For the Holy Ghost and the Lord, I just come up here for prayer. Just pray over me. Hallelujah. That the Lord protect me while I'm out here sitting and let me go. Honey, but they start saying, say thank you, Jesus. Say hallelujah. I'm like, Lord, I mean, you know, you got to obey your elders. Hallelujah. Was taught respect. Hallelujah. And before I knew it, honey, the Lord had reclaimed me. I'm like, oh, my God. Hallelujah. So then I had to make some more arrangements because I couldn't get to finish up the little devilment I was planning on doing that night. God is a good God, and I'm so grateful that I love him and that he loves me even the more. Hallelujah. Only believe, Zion. Only believe. Yes, he breaks every chain. Hallelujah. He breaks those chains. Hallelujah. Of I can't help it. I got to do this. This child, I'm telling you. When you really get the Holy Ghost, it's a chain breaker. Hallelujah. The spirit of the living God living on the inside of you. I'm going to have to skip some things here. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, Romans 5, 8, and we pray. But God commendeth his love toward us that in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While I was yet out there trying to get my groove on. Hallelujah. God was saying, girl, you don't did enough damage to this society. <laughs> It's time for you to come on in the house. Hallelujah. And that's what I'm saying to you today. Come on in the house because it's going to rain and it's going to rain down fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, I tell you, we're praying only believe. Hallelujah. All your relatives, tell them only believe. Tell them to listen to this video. Like and share, share. Only believe. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God. First John 3, 1 declared, Behold, what manner, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knoweth him not. See, that's why people be saying, oh, who do you think you are? Wait, honey, because the world don't know him and they don't know you. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God. You one flight? Hallelujah, ahead of them, because you're in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, not in the kingdom of darkness. 
I declare unto you today, our God is a mighty God. Oh, I'm going to skip some stuff because our time is just about out. Hallelujah. But I want to share with you this morning that Jesus the Christ, he is our only Savior. Oh, yes, he is. He is our only Savior. Hallelujah. And we can't be saved. Hallelujah. Unless we go through his son. Hallelujah. Jesus the Christ. God is calling for us. Hallelujah. To look to him. Hallelujah, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Ah, we thank the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. For the gift of love. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. In John 6, 68, he alone has the saving message. It's Jesus the Christ, the son of the living God. I said, therefore, unto you that ye shall die in your sins. Listen, Zion. You shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am, ye shall die in your sins. That's why you have to believe this word. Hallelujah. Because you do not want to die and in your sins. And some said, well, hey, how do you know something really going to happen? One thing for sure, I know I believe this word. And I'd rather believe the word and know, hallelujah, within my spirit that I'm on my way to heaven than not to believe it and take a risk. And what if there is a hell? Hallelujah. You do not want to go to hell. Ah, one preacher preached, what in the hell do you want? You don't want to go there. A place of destruction, a place of torment, a place where there'll be weeping, gnashing of teeth. Hallelujah. There is no stopping. You just falling forever and ever. Hallelujah. You can't burn up. The demons are marking you, making fun of you because you were unwise. Hallelujah. You don't want to go there and you don't want your family and friends to go there. I know sometimes they upset you so much that you tell them I'll go to hell, but you don't mean that. You really don't want them to go to hell and you don't want to go either. That's why God has us on this Facebook live. Hallelujah. To tell you only believe. Only believe. Hallelujah. With that, I got so much more, but my time is out. Let me let me let me say this. Hallelujah. As we continue to pray, of course, for this election. Hallelujah. That's in the midst of uh the votes being counted. I pray that you did your uh citizenship duty and voted. Hallelujah. But however, what's done is done. Hallelujah. And when it's all settled. Hallelujah. The one that God wants to put up, that's the one who's going to be in that White House chair. Hallelujah. So we pray for all of our elected officials. We pray for our president, his cabinet. We pray for Jerusalem, all of our essential workers. Hallelujah. Ah, we pray for the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Pray for the poor and needy, all those that are afflicted and abused. Hallelujah, that are sick with all types of diseases. Hallelujah. And as I shared it with you before, hallelujah, that disease of sin, it will take you to hell. God ain't sending nobody to hell. Hallelujah. But if you don't believe, hallelujah, you've just signed up. Hallelujah. You just signed your ticket stamp. I want to go to hell. And you don't. Hallelujah. So please listen to this video. Share, share, share. Share with your loved ones so they can get an understanding. Hallelujah. Through the scriptures. This is sound doctrine. This is sound teaching. This is not something I just uh, flipped up from the figment of my imagination. This is the gospel truth. Hallelujah. So we want to pray. Hallelujah. For all of um, our partners in ministry and certainly for all of our gospel troopers. We pray, hallelujah, for those that sow into this good ground, seed into this good crown, all of our veterans. We pray for our backsliders. Come on home. I've been there, done that. Come on home. It's far better on this side. It's far better on this side. Hallelujah. You got life insurance on this side. Hallelujah. And certainly we pray for all of these that know not God in the pardon of their sins. And I'm going to ask you to pray with me the salvation prayer. Hallelujah. Lord, I believe you died to save me. I believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
I believe you are the son of the living God. I ask that you forgive me of all of my sins and accept you uh, and accept me as your child. I ask you to be my Lord and Savior and help me, Lord, as I walk in the walk of newness of life. Hallelujah. Receive all of me, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. That's the salvation prayer. You pray that prayer, mean it in your heart, and I declare you will begin the journey. Hallelujah. Of Christendom. It's a journey. It's a process. It's a lifestyle. Hallelujah. And I pray that the Lord allow you to find a good church home that believes the full counsel of God. Hallelujah. And I believe, hallelujah, that the Lord would allow you to find a good church. Hallelujah. Where you can be baptized in his name, according to Acts 2.38. And the Lord God of glory will fill you with his precious Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And you'll be a student of the word and can study the word. Hallelujah. Day and night. If you don't have a church home and you live in this area, I would love to be your pastor. Hallelujah. No, our church doors are not physically open, but we're online and I will help you walk through the process of being a great Christian, a great child of God so that you can mature and become a son and daughter of God. Hallelujah. And you'll get even more benefits. Hallelujah. So our God is exciting and we are rich, hallelujah, in him, and we thank the Lord that he have given us this process or this platform, I should say. It's high time to pray. We're grateful, hallelujah, ah, because this is nothing I masterminded. I declare that unto you, hallelujah, because I sure enough did not want to get on here, but I'm so grateful that God have given us this platform to pray and to seek his face, to call upon him while he's near, hallelujah. Ah, we thank the Lord. And as we close out this prayer on today, hallelujah, let us continue to be prayerful. Hallelujah. The election process, let us continue to be prayerful. Hallelujah. That there's not rioting and chaos in the streets whenever the uh, results are declared. Hallelujah. And let us stay focused. Hallelujah. Ah, because God has much for us to do in the kingdom. Hallelujah. And let us just uh, uh, bind the stronghold, uh, the strong man of fear this morning. And under this uh, spirit, hallelujah, there is uh, that spirit of unbelief. You know, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Well, my old bishop used to tell me, said, he that believeth shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Hallelujah. So you want to believe. Ask God to open up your heart. Hallelujah. That you will believe the full counsel of God. Hallelujah. So we bind those spirits under uh, fear, uh, doubt, procrastination. Hallelujah. We pull down these strongholds and command them to go according to 2 Timothy 1, 7. And Lord, we release your presence in this place. Hallelujah. That you're forever to keep us in the center of your will. Hallelujah. That we'll be the men, the women. Hallelujah. The boys and girls that you have ordained for our life, that we may cry loud and spare not, lift up our voices like a trumpet and show the people their sins. Hallelujah. That they may be saved. Hallelujah. That they can call on you. And only believe, only believe, Lord, this is our prayer focus this morning, that you help us to only believe. And Lord, we thank you for this and all things according to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, my Facebook family. May the Lord forever uh, face shine upon you. May he continue to give you peace. Hallelujah. I want you all to know that I love you. Hallelujah. I love you because I know with the spirit of God, God is love. He will cause us to love one another and to walk in unity. Hallelujah. So we're grateful for all that the Lord has done and we're grateful. We want you to stay alert. We want you to be watchful. Hallelujah. And just continue to keep that prayer wheel turning. Why? Because it's high time to pray. It's high time to pray. 
This has been your host this morning, co-founder, pastor of the Gospel Truth Apostolic Ministry, Valerie D. Clark. Till we meet again, may God's richest and best be yours always. Mwah. Shalom. Bye-bye.